Oh my gosh. Hey. So my name is Emily Rose and today I am going to do the booktube newbie tag. Um, so I'll just get right into it. Um, so the first question is why did you start this channel? So I have been lurking in the shadows of all of your booktube channels for several years. Um, and I love to watch people make their first booktube newbie tag and then to watch their channel, um, grow. I've loved seeing people get more comfortable on their channel and with the process of reading books and talking about books and meeting new friends. And I am starting this booktube channel because I want to be a part of the booktube community. Question number two, which is, I just wish that these two, the fun and unique words weren't used, but whatever. Um, what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? So fun and unique things. Um, I'm going to be myself basically. <laughs> and, um, a fun and unique things. I think that there are so many fun and unique people on here um, already, but I think I heard somebody else say this, that everybody is fun and unique in their own type of way. Um, I plan to be a part of the community, not just with creating my own content, but also I'm a very encouraging, like peaceful, chill, but like supportive person. So I would like to think that I could bring um, some more positivity to booktube. Yeah. Question number three is what are you most excited for about this new channel? Um, I'm excited to see how, um, I progress with, um, reading books and talking about books. And I'm so excited to, um, meet friends from it. I love, honestly, I, I have been watching, um, people become friends and like partner up with other people. I just, I would like to be a part of the community in terms of like even meeting just a few people. Um, and I think that that's a totally possible thing to meet new people on here. I think that that's why a lot of people do it. I am one of them and I'm just excited to meet you. <laughs> why do you love reading? So I love it for the meeting new people and I love to experience different worlds. I've learned a lot of um, who I've become from books, honestly, not that my, um, own personal experiences haven't shaped me, not that my upbringing hasn't shaped me, my mom and dad, my brothers, um, you know, real life experiences have shaped me, but, um, it's really amazing that for me, reading certain books has, um, really helped me to become who I am. And I also love the fake aspect of it to go to different worlds and experience somebody else's life. I just really think that it teaches, has taught me empathy for other people. And I think that that's the beauty of why I love reading and why so many other people love reading because there's just so much to love about it. And I just think it's wonderful. What book or series got you into reading? And is it, um, kind of pathetic to say what I'm about to say? Probably. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Judy B. Jones? Um, because I have, and that is what got me into it. Let me explain. Um, so for Easter, instead of my parents getting us, well, they still, no, I'm not going to say instead of, in addition to getting us candy, um, my mom would also always buy us books, um, like two or probably two. Um, 
Well, one year she got me a couple of books of Junie B. Jones. And I think that I was like way past the threshold of when you should be reading Junie B. Jones. But um, I remember on that Easter Sunday taking it upstairs to my room. I think I, I created like a little tent out of blankets. I don't know what had gotten into me, but I went upstairs to my room and I read the entire book in one sitting and I was so proud of myself and um that is my first experience with reading and that was when I learned that I could actually read a whole book um and also another um I don't want to call it lame but lame um series that got me into reading is what was it um It was the kid detective, um, what the heck? He was a kid detective, um, <laughs> and I swear I thought of that before doing this and I had it in my head, but he was a child detective. Do you know who I'm talking about? I don't think that it was really popular, but I remember Mrs. Codwell in second grade read us this book, and I cannot remember right now, but I loved, she would read us like 20 minutes each day, like after lunch or something. And, um, I loved it. And I cannot remember his name. If you know who I'm talking about, um, and you've read it before, definitely let me know. Um, because I cannot think of it. And they were good stories too. Um, okay. So anyways, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? And as I've pretty much kept up with watching all of, um, their videos, I don't know if I have like a question about booktube just because I watch all of their, like how to get into booktube and I watch every, you know, I, I watch their stuff. So I don't really have any questions that they've already um, said, but I guess something that I get curious about sometimes, um, do you ever dislike people's videos? And I ask that because, um, I have never ever disliked a video on YouTube. Um, no matter how much I hated it, um, or disliked it. Um, and I just wonder, do people do that? And if so, why? Like, I don't understand why. I just want to know why, if you do dislike videos on here, I just don't understand why not just stop watching it versus like taking the time to click the thumbs down button. I just don't get it. I always, th I thumb up things all the time. If I watch it for more than like a minute, I generally put a thumb up because it's like good effort. And um, I don't really understand disliking videos. So do you ever do that? It's just kind of like a, that's the question I can think of to ask. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? I have a two month old. Um, I don't know if he has colic or if this is just something that babies do. I don't know. It is my first. Um, but he cries. He cries a lot. Um, so I think probably the hardest part about doing this is number one, reading enough things that will qualify as me talking about it. Um, but also being able to film and edit and post consistently. I think that that will be the hardest part about this. Um, but I am totally up for the challenge. Um, my boyfriend is wonderful. He has very much encouraged me that if I've been wanting to do this for as many years as I say that I have, which it's true, um, he says, do you have to go for it? And he's gonna help me figure out editing and everything else. Um, but I think that the hardest challenge will definitely be is day to day, week to week. There is just no consistency, um, with having a baby and, 
um, that will be the hardest, that will be the hardest thing, I think. And also like dislike, the dislike button. I think that it just hurts my feelings. It's just, it, it's just like, why would you dislike it? Like, I, I don't watch it or like just completely wipe me off the map of like things that you watch, but why do you have to go and dislike it? I just, that dislike button really gets to me. It does, cause I don't understand. Um, so when did you start reading? My mom, my beautiful mom has always read to us. She always, always read to us. And like when we would go on vacations, we would make a big deal about going to the library and renting an audio and we would listen to them on the way. And the first time that we did that was actually Harry Potter. And um, I remember we listened to it all the way there. Reading has just always been a part of my life. It definitely increased as I discovered booktube actually. I think that um, the beautiful thing about booktube and anyone I talk to about books, I tell them about booktube and so many people have not heard of it. And, um, which is crazy because booktube has actually really helped me read books that I would have never found. This is me going off on a tangent that was not the question, but I started, no, it does go along with the question. I started reading a lot more after discovering booktube years ago and I've read so many books because of it. And that's why I wish that I would have started a channel back when I first discovered this, like I wanted to, because I've discovered so many books now and I don't even remember now how, who I heard them from or, you know, what I thought of them and things like that. So I definitely just want to, um, do a better job at, um, like recording things and having that to look back on. Um, where do you read? So, um, my boyfriend makes fun of me. I am not good at yet, but I'm getting better. I really am. Um, I've been reading more in bed, but I generally only read in the bath and you can imagine how that would be difficult to read a lot because you obviously can't sit in the bath for hours, but I did and I still try. It does not work like it used to, but I love to read in the bathtub. Um, let me know if you're the same way. Obviously I can't only, um, read in the bathtub anymore because I cannot sit down for that long, even with a newborn when he starts crying. But also I am a, an audible, an audible subscriber. And so I read I listen to a lot of books via Audible, um, so I do that when I'm driving in the car. My boyfriend, when he's working, he broke his thumb, unfortunately, but um, when I was traveling to and from like where he was at, which is like an hour away, I would put on a book and listen to it on the way, and that would be like a good two hours of reading that I would get while the baby's just sleeping. So Audible is a wonderful thing for new moms. And the final question is, what kind of books do you like to read? <laughs> I like to read thrillers a lot. Um, I like to be scared. Actually, throughout my pregnancy, I listened and read so much Stephen King that I'm kind of concerned um, for how my baby is going to turn out just because of all the um, scary things that I listened to while he was um, in my belly. But I like to listen to that, but I'm also a major um, follower. So if I watch a video and it's something that I would normally never read, but somebody gives it a high enough recommendation, I'll pick it up and try to read it. So I'm pretty much into thrillers, what is popular on booktube, and also that I don't see a lot of is personal development books. I love personal development books and self-care books, and that has a big part of, um, how and why I think the way that I do. So I will definitely be talking more about those types of books as well. Um, so if you watched to the end, thank you so much. I'm glad that you're here. If you are a new booktuber as well, um, let me know and we could maybe be friends. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you next time.